Rodeo Days is in the heart of Cowboy Christmas. It's a term described the volume of rodeos going on throughout the country at this time of the year and the potential to bank a lot of money in hopes of qualifying for the national finals. Well, the Mandan Rodeo also started nine years before an event in Prescott, Arizona that trademarked the slogan, oldest rodeo in the world. Well, it's day one of three here in the final guy in the first event, the bareback out of the KFYR TV shoot right there is Wazi Shola. He's from Arapahoe, Oklahoma. He's a college NFR uh, champion, and this is an excellent effort, an 84 point ride. So that is the score to beat for the other two goes. In the Bulldog, and it's Cole Fulton of Miller, South Dakota. Their high school nickname, by the way, is Rustlers, which is pretty good nickname for a rodeo night. Not a clean catch, but a 5.7. KFYR TV sponsoring the Saddle Bronc tonight as well. Q McWhorter, he's from California, had the top ride, 81 points. The effort for him tonight. Round two is tomorrow. Post two from Fargo was first in the coaches preseason double A Legion baseball poll and it started the day unbeaten in the conference. Well, the governors look to change that tonight in Bismarck. The Govs are in second place and pick number four in the preseason. Bottom of the third on a 2-2 game, it's Bismarck's Parker Sagsveen hitting a fly ball out to center field. It'll be a sacrifice fly as Gavin Lill scores and the Govs take the lead. In the same inning, it is uh, Biden Meyer pitching for Fargo, striking out Ben Watson, so he gets out of that jam. But in the bottom of the fifth, Lill is up again. He's in the sports spotlight tomorrow, driving this one into uh, right center field. That'll bring in another run. It's a two-run lead and Bismarck wins by two in game one. Game two, though, goes to Fargo. The Chiefs host the Governors tomorrow and Thursday. Tonight, it's the Williston Keybirds. Bottom of the first, Mandan gets right to it. Braden Brunell hitting one into right field. Hudson Sheldon will come around and give the Chiefs that one run lead. Same inning, McCoy Keller rips this one through the left side of the infield. That brings in another run, and the Chiefs are up by two. But in the bottom of the second inning now, it's Jackson Janot throwing out a would-be base dealer here for the Keybirds, but Mandan held the lead and won it by the final of 6-3 to three and take the day, sweep it 6-1 to one in Game 2. In class in a class B doubleheader, the Astros from Hazen beat Garrison 7-5 and 8-2. Well, the Larks are at first place Wilmer again tonight, and the Larks would take the lead in the second inning. Kyle Vidstead with runners on second and third brings them in with a single to center field. But after that, an eight-run third did the, uh, the Larks in. So Wilmer goes on and wins this game by the final of 14-5. Uh, the Big Sticks are three outs away from beating Minot, and the Twins take care of the Tigers 5-3 to today.